everybody and welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Bay, Nur Chuck. And this, my friends, is The Thunder Show, AKA the internet's most passionate wine program. And we have a boatload of people in front of me right now. Let's hear it for the people. Relax. <laughs> Here we go. So, this started off, the reason that so many people are here is that we have a new side site that we launched last October called Cinderella Wine. Uh, deal of the day, guilt group, group on, ideally, that kind of style. It's turned into a great community and a lot of people there were yapping and talking and you know, I spent a lot, a lot of my time, most of my time actually, in the Wine Library TV forums, you know, all that time. Um, <laughs> but, Occasionally I'll go to Cindy and yeah, but there's some interesting conversation there and said, you know what, we should have an open house and kind of morphed into a bigger thing, you know, Facebook gets viral and there's a lot of people here, whether they're Wine Library fans, Wine Library TV fans, Cinderella fans, probably Mott and Joe G fans, but that's fine. I really don't I really don't care why they're here. I'm just glad they're here because I love the peeps, everybody's having a good time. It's it's a little gloomy outside. It's been like nice every day, of course, for like the last three weeks except today. But we've got two wines that are Cinderella related. One that was a prior Cinderella wine and one that's going to be a future Cinderella wine which I thought would be an interesting twist. Mott, you like that angle, right? Yeah, I do. So uh, things are good. Went to uh, Bon Jovi last night at the new Jet Stadium. And, uh, and that was good. And, uh, and this is a fantastic event and I promise you, I know there's some people from Minnesota here. Well, give me some more. Well, yeah. relax, one at a time. Virginia. We got Virginia in the house. Jersey. <laughs> we have Jersey in the house. Appreciate Where is that? New Jersey. Jersey again, got it. Florida, Williamsport, Ohio, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. How many people from Pennsylvania? That's what happens when you have state control alcohol laws. <laughs> they slap up to the wine lib. So I appreciate it. Everybody's been stuffing their face with food, drinking some 92 Dominus out of six liter. Any of you guys do that? Yeah. Oh, sweet. And, uh, and Mott, should we make a commitment to do this again? Yes. Maybe yeah. sometime yeah. in the fall? Yeah. Maybe before a huge Jets game, like on a Saturday before a huge Jets game. Maybe before the Jets Patriots game. So all you jerk offs from Boston can come down here and try to talk some trash. I know. I know where you are. All right. Enough of that. We're here for a reason. Let's taste some vino. Um, how many of you actually still have the Adobe Road Syrah in front of you? Raise your hands. Good amount. How many of you um, already drank it? How many of you are in your second glass? Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> the guy back in the corner that's right by the wine, of course. <laughs> Alright, Mott, let's zoom in. This was a, uh, not too, right, came, Kristen, a couple weeks ago on this one, right? Not too long ago on yeah, Cindy. Yeah. Adobe Road 05 Syrah from Sonoma. 92 points, Wine Spectator, 25 bones. It was 1888 on Cinderella. Um, let's pour it. Um, and, uh, uh, Ken Bucher is Buckler, excuse me, is the owner, professional race car driver of this vineyard. It's gotten a lot of press. Really, really kind of known for you know that Rhone style, small production, 440 cases produced of this wine. So, like the wristband says that a bunch of you just got, let's give this wine a sniffy sniff. Now I have a oh what? I don't have the big ass glass. It's not the, Ian's big ass glass. This is Ian's big ass glass. That feels very second class citizen, but I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I saw, I saw Pop stole it. Um, Ian's big ass glass. Um, so, everybody else has plastic, which, you know, but plastic Riedel. <laughs> Alright, one more sniffy sniff because I'm not focusing, I like the people. Um, you know, big red nose, you know, classic, you know, kind of like Rudolph, you know, the reindeer. Um, you know, Big, big red fruit structure on the nose. Really strawberries, you know, cherries on the nose. It smells a little oaky for me. It's got a little bit of that fake California thing going on that I'm like, wait a minute, is this something I can replicate in Bogle Petit Sirah for $8? So that's like the opening, like, ee, ee, you know, kind of movement. Um, little pepper, just a hint on the back end of the nose. Nothing too, too creative. Not the most complex nose that I've ever come across, and so far I'm a little bit concerned. Let's give it a whirl. So, 
So, you know, it's, it's fairly medium bodied, which is kind of surprising for a Syrah based wine. The alcohol's coming through a little bit for me, but not too much of an issue. Good tannin structure, which I do like. Um, kind of bland. It's almost like, you know, the first thing that pops in my mind is this wine's kind of acting like a second fiddle. You know, I, I feel like I feel like this wine could be called LeBron James, for example. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's, it, it seems like it's got some stuff, but it's just not going all the way there. The, the mid-palate, ironically, is the best thing this wine has going on. It, it's a pretty strong mid-palate and good backbone. It's kind of creamy, feels like it's a hair over oaked. You know, there's a little bit of that milky, vanilla, kind of dairy aspect that you get when a wine goes a little bit too far in that direction. I'm a little bit disappointed with it. I, I think it's okay. I mean, I'm much more happy with it at 18, 8, 88 than at 25, but it really comes across like a 13 to $15 wine. To me, this is an 87, 88 point wine. It's, it's drinkable, it's okay, but it's not by any stretch of the imagination changing my life or getting me excited and, uh, it's a pretty disappointing start to this show with all the people watching and it's a Cinderella party and it's a pass. I mean, come on, it's a, it's a bad way to kind of start this thing. So, man, if this Barola doesn't do well, it's going to be a tough one. So, how many people, uh, you know, I know you're jaded now, but how many people liked that wine? Raise your hand. Good. Way to trust your palates. I like that. Good work. Disliked? Yeah. Meh? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. All right, let's move on. Let's rinse. How many of you have the uh, Barolo? Very nice, good. And by the way, after we're done with this, if you want to try the Syrah or the Barolo, there may be a little bit left in my office. There's also a boatload of uh, cheese products here if you want to keep stuffing your faces as you have all afternoon. <laughs> all right, let's pour this. This has some serious hype. We've had the you know lower... Um, grades of this producer. Um, Andre Oberto is a very, very prominent classic producer um, of Barolo. Uh, this is his uh, Vigneto Alberella 05. 92 points wine spectator, 91 points Antonio Galloni. Uh, Father-son team, I know a little bit about that. Uh, 85 US dollars. Mott, when I say 85, yeah. yeah, get through it. Get through it. <laughs> um, so 85 bones, pretty pricey stuff. This is his top, one of his top wines. Um, very, very interesting vintage. 05 gets really debated. Um, I, I'm a pretty big fan of the vintage in general and I'm a huge fan uh, of this producer. Again, um, we have done some of his wines in the past and he's been pretty popular. Joe G, you a big fan of this guy or not really? Yeah. Fan of him? So Joe G, who loves the Italian wines as a fan. Galoni, 91 points, pretty serious score from that guy. So let's see what's going on here. Let's snippy snip it, because that's what we do. Now this is far more interesting on the nose, clearly, than the last wine. Has a little like, you know what really has going on? It's got like this almost crushed rose petal meets a little bit of like topsoil, dirty kind of thing going on, but it's not as old world on the nose as that may sound. There's a little bit of second tier fruit on the back end, almost like a plum action catching on the nose for me, which is kind of nice. Um, pretty little hints of spice too on the back end. And almost like, almost like a, um, what's, that, what's that stuff you put in the Bloody Mary mix? Not, not Tabasco, the Wishes or something? Yeah, get a little bit of hint of that on the back end. Thank you, we could use them around. Mine. It's like that Verizon commercial. What's this I'm picking up? Horseradish, thank you. Um, all right, let's give it a whirl. So the first impression by far is how dry this wine is, right? Heads are shaking with that comment. However, incredible power and then elegance. I'm really taken aback by the intensity of the fruit and the structure, just a big wine that's got a lot going on, but then when you taste it, the length, the elegance of the fruit is, quite, it's kind of like yoga, right? You know, like you, you, you kind of look at, you know, it's like a 48 pound chick doing yoga and you're like, yeah, right, and then she kicks your ass. That's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of what this wine reminds me of, you know, because, it's got enormous elegance. You know, it's kind of like, 
you know, like wearing an evening gown, but you're Batwoman. You know, I mean, it's yeah. it's really like that because. Because the power of the wine is quite impressive. The dry attack might be too much for some palates. How many people are just unable to get past how dry this wine is? Anybody? Yeah, I can understand. Yeah, I get it. It's it's pretty intense. That being said, how many people adore the fact that it attacks that way? A lot more hands on the second question. Um, great, great length on the finish. I'm still tasting this wine. I don't know about you guys. I mean, that that is standing out. It's a pretty powerhouse wine. That being said, it's supposed to be. It's $85. It's like my favorite Chris Rock segment ever when he's like, you know, some people just take credit for things they're not supposed to. Like, I take care of my kids. You're supposed to take care of your kids. <laughs> That's what I think about this wine. A little Chris Rock in the mind on this one. It's supposed to be good. It's 85 freaking bones. But, but we've seen on this show, and I'm sure you guys have traveled and tasted enough to know that is not always the case. And so when it is the case, that's a good situation. This saves the show from the Adobe run. Huh? And I'm happy about that because we wouldn't have wanted to go over two tonight, Ma. That would have just been awfully devastating. I like this wine. Uh, I'm somewhere in that same range. To me, this is a 92, 92 plus point wine. I think it's extremely well made. Um, I'm, and, and you know what's funny? With everybody here, I would probably want to score a little bit lower. I promise if this was by myself, I'd probably be a point, you know, I'm just trying to be conservative, keep it real for the peeps. But I might be even being a hair hard on this wine. I think it's really quite nice and, and I enjoy it. So um, that's a good thing. So this was fun. I feel like we should have done one more. Doesn't it feel like there should have been like a third wine? Yeah. I'm feeling like we're not gonna be able to pull it off. Okay? <laughs> Let's ask a question today. Ma, you know what, grab the camera and what I want you to do is randomly just turn around right now, zoom in on a person, let them ask the question of the day. Go. People are ducking, people are turning. <laughs> Somebody, Ma, feel it, boom, go. Right there. Trouty? Hey, he works for Cork. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No <laughs> July 10th, where else? <laughs> Thank you, perfect question. Please answer it. Lurkers, I understand when I ask you, but look at the lovely lady. Can you please, and don't give me I watch you on TiVo for that today, or anything else. The computer's not that far away. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I look forward to drinking a lot of wine with you guys tonight. I hope you liked the show, and thank you so much for the support. It means the absolute world to me. You. Let them do the chair. Good. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. Take it. You. you. you.